Hello guys! So, welcome back to si Ibahas Tutorial Channel. And ito na yung last part ng ating discussion sa ating Chapter 5, Introduction for Pips. So, the last part is all about the bending strength of non-compact shape. So, na-discuss na natin sa third part ng ating uh, discussion yung about sa compact shape. So, magdako naman tayo rito. So, as previous, previously noted, most standard W, M, S, and C shapes are compact. A few are non-compact because of the flange B to thickness ratio, but none are slender. Ayan. Although, kung meron namang slender, meron pa rin namang ano, uh, tayong requirements under sa NCP 2015. So, in general, a non-compact beam may fail by, of course, LTB or lateral torsional buckling, so flange local buckling, or web local buckling. Any of these types of failure can be in either the elastic range or the inelastic range. So from AISC F3, for flange local buckling, if lambda, if lambda or the width to thickness ratio is greater than the lambda P but less than or equal to lambda R, the flange is non-compact. So buckling will be inelastic. And yung ating uh, nominal moment is, is equivalent to MP minus MP minus 0.7 FYSX multiplied by lambda P uh, or lambda minus lambda P over lambda R minus lambda P. So, same lang to sa ano dito, hindi ba? Ayan, same lang siya actually. Pero, imbis na LB, LP, and LR yung gagamitin natin, ang gagamitin naman natin is lambda. Kasi, syempre, ano tayo eh? Um, non-compact shape na tayo. Okay? So, ang nangyari, yung ating width to thickness ratio is, na uh, is nasa range ng ating lambda P and lambda R. So, ito na yung gagamitin natin ngayon. And, we don't need to limit this MN na kung saan dapat less than or equal to MP. Bakit? Kasi, nakalagay rito is MP, then minus. Ibig sabihin, ini-expect natin na less than sa MP, yung makukuha natin na value for MN. So, hindi natin kailangan pa na lagyan ng ganun. Okay? So, uh, doon naman sa NSCP 2015 requirements, under sa section 506.3, double symmetric I-shaped members with compact webs and non-compact or slender planches bent about their major axis. So, anong nangyari dito kasi, kapag ang isa sa mga members natin, or sa element ng members natin is non-compact, ibig sabihin, yung buong member natin is kung consider natin as non-compact shape. Okay, for example, compact nga yung webs, pero non-compact naman yung ating planche, therefore, kinoconsider natin na yung ating beam is non-compact shape. Okay? Or vice versa. Okay. So, this section applies to double symmetric eye shape members bent about their major axis, sa uh, x-axis yun, having compact webs and non-compact or slender Planches as defined in section 502.4. So, yun yung table natin na ginagamit. Okay? So, yung table natin. Okay, nasa ano pala, no? introduction, no? Ayan. Ayan. So, ito yung table natin under sa section 502.4. So, the nominal flexural strength, MN, shall be the lower value obtained according to the limit states of lateral torsional buckling and compression flange local buckling. Okay. So, under naman sa section 506.3.1, lateral torsional buckling. For lateral torsional buckling, the provision of section 506.2.2 uh, shall apply. So, nasan yun? NSCP. Okay. 0.2.2, no? So, dito tayo. Ayan. Ayan, dito ako. Okay, so dito natin, uh, natin i-apply yung ating uh, lateral torsional buckling. And then, sabi niya rito, for compression flange buckling or yung compression flange buckling kasi ito yung tinatawag natin na flange local buckling or FLB. So, for sections with non-compact flanges, yung ating MN is ito nga. Ayan. Yung equation natin. And kapag naman is slender daw yung ating flange, ayan, Ito yung equation natin. Although kay William T. Segi, hindi siya nagpakita ng ano, equation na ganito. Pero syempre, meron niya sa AISC. Pero hindi niya na pinakita. Kasi usually, sabi nga niya rito, di ba? Uh, a, few, a few are non-compact because of the flange with to thickness ratio, but none are slender. Pero just in case na, sabi ko nga kanina, 
na magkaroon tayo ng slender flanges, yung ating nominal moment is equivalent to uh, 0.90e k sub c sx over lambda squared na kung saan ang ating lambda is bf over 2tf. And yung ating uh, uh, k sub c is equivalent to 4 over square root of h over t w. So, familiar pa sa equation ng k sub c under to sa ano? Sa local buckling natin, or sorry, sa local stability ng ating tension member. Okay, yung k sub c. Okay? And yung ating lambda pf, yun yung lambda p. And yung ating lambda rf is yung ating lambda r. So, take note lamang, the web criterion is met by all standard I and C shape listed in the manual for FY is less than or equal to 65 KSI. So, kapag sila natin web criterion, yung criteria natin for the web element of the member for I and C shape. So, sabi niya rito, na met daw, okay, na met, okay, uh, na meet, okay, na met daw, eh. na meet daw natin lahat ng uh, standard, okay, para sa uh, I and uh, or specification para sa I and C for uh, FY is less than or equal to 65 KSI. So, therefore, in most cases, only the flange ratio needs to be checked. Note that built-up welded eye shape can have a non-compact or slender webs. Anyway, um, kapag dumerecho pa kayo sa pagbabasa ng Ano, section 506 natin sa NCP 2015 requirements andun yung ano yung discussion dito ayan so meron tayong dong ano mga non compact webs and slender webs pero dito since standard INC shape naman ang isusolve natin or uh, yes i-check natin hindi na natin kailangan pang i-check yung um, classification ng ating uh, web kasi nga since galing naman sa manual or table, in-expect natin na, um, okay, in-expect na natin na okay na tayo sa web. So, ang kailangan na lang, kailangan na lamang natin i-check is yung flanges niya. Okay? So, napakaraming equation, di ba? Nakakalito. So, ngayon, uh, ito yung isa sa mga gusto talaga kay William T. Segui kasi pinagsama-sama na niya. So, ito yung summary ng moment strength under sa bending stress from William T. Segi. Okay? So, the procedure for computation of nominal moment strength for I and C shape sections bent about the x-axis will now be summarized. All terms in the following equations have been previously defined and AIS equation num uh, numbers will not be shown. So, this equation is for compact and non-compact shape. So, non-compact planches only. So, no slender shape. Okay? Hindi natin kailangan pang ano i-check yung, uh, or parang hindi natin, hindi tayo aabot doon sa slender shapes, okay? So, number one, ito yung gagawin natin kapag meron tayong problem. Of course, we must determine whether the shape is compact or non-compact. Ngayon, kapag compact, siguro magpalit tayo ng kulay, gawin natin, ano, ayan, ito yung kulay para sa, ano, sa compact, okay? So, if the shape is compact, Check for lateral torsional buckling as follows. And so, if LB is less than or equal to LP, there is no LTB or lateral torsional buckling. Therefore, yung ating MN is equivalent to MP. Okay, so, kapag ang ating LB is greater than sa LP but less than sa LR, there is inelastic LTB. So, kung babalik natin yung discussion natin dito, ayan. So, ang ating LB is less than sa LR but greater than LP. So, pasok tayo sa inelastic buckling. Okay. So, mangyari, yung ating MN is equivalent to CB multiplied by MP minus MP minus 0.7 FYSX multiplied by LB minus LP over LR minus LP. Okay. And this should be less than or equal to MP. Okay. So, bakit hindi natin ginamit yung lambda? Kasi, compact yung ating ano, shape. Okay. So, ngayon, kapag nag greater than tayo sa uh, LR or yung ating LB is greater than LR, Yung ating failure is elastic lateral torsional buckling. And yung ating MN is equivalent to FCR SX. And uh, yung ating FCR is equivalent to CB pi squared E over LB over RTS squared. Square root of 1 plus 0 0.078 uh, J multiplied by C over SX multiplied by H sub O 
multiplied by the quotient of LBN RTS squared. Okay, na kung saan yung ating uh, M, yung MN na makuha natin dito dapat is less than pa rin sa MP. Kasi dito nga, hindi tayo pwedeng lumagpas sa MP, di ba? Yan. Kasi tingnan nyo naman, ang dapat na makuha natin kasi under sa elastic buckling is dapat talaga mas mababa sa MP. Ayan no? Di ba? Ito yung ating MN. And kapag ang ating MN is na greater than sa uh, MP, okay, so dapat hanggang dito lang tayo sa MN. Okay? Ayan. So, number 3 naman. So, iba na lang yung kulay. Gawin natin ano. Uh, ayan, ito. Kapag daw ang ating shape is non-compact, ayan, because of the plunge, the nominal strength will be the smaller of the strengths corresponds Responding to the plunge local buckling and lateral torsional buckling. So, ibig sabihin, hindi na natin i-check yung uh, failure natin sa web uh, local buckling. So, sa ano lang tayo? Plunge and lateral torsional buckling. So, sabi rito, kapag ang ating lambda is less than or equals to lambda P, there is no FLB. Ayan. Or plunge local buckling. Tama nga rin naman. Okay, pero kapag ang ating lambda is greater than uh, lambda P but less than lambda R, the plunge is non-compact. Ayan. So, kapag non-compact, papatan lang natin to. to. Okay, so kapag non-compact, itong equation to, magiging na siyang ano, MP minus MP minus 0.7 FYSX multiplied by lambda minus lambda P over lambda R minus lambda P. So, ngayon, Uh, katapos ating uh, makuha yung strength natin under sa FLB or sa plunge local buckling, kukunin rin natin yung lateral torsional buckling natin. Ayan. Or yung strength natin sa lateral torsional buckling. So, saan ulit under to? Dito lang. Sa number 2. Ayan o. Oh. Okay. Or dito. Ayan pala. Sorry. Sa inelastic or sa elastic uh, lateral torsional buckling. Ayan. So, sabi nga rito, kapag less than yung ating LB sa LP, there is no LTB. Kapag pasok naman tayo sa LP and LR, elast inelastic LTB. Kapag naman uh, greater than tayo sa LR, there is elastic LTB. Then, pares pa rin yung equation natin na gagamitin. So, ibig sabihin, dito sa number 2, ang kukunin kasi natin dito sa under sa number 2 is, of course, yung ating MP. Makukuha natin yan. And then, okay, kapag under sa inelastic, yung MN. Ayan. O kapag un under naman sa inelastic, another MN. Okay? So, ngayon, mamimili lang tayo sa dalawa na to. Or, sa dalawa na to. Okay? Na dito naman sa, ano, sa non-compact, kukunin natin yung MN under sa plunge local buckling. Ayan, FLB. So, kasi, inelastic. I N L T B Ito naman elastic L T B O dito kasi kukunin natin yung MN natin sa plunge local buckling so isa yan Then uh, yung ating MN under sa lateral torsional buckling Doon ulit may mili tayo ng dalawa ay may mili ng dalawa May mili tayo kung or titingnan natin kung inelastic L T B or elastic L T B tayo So, makukuha natin yan. And then, syempre, i-compare natin sa MP. So, dito, ano lang, uh, dalawang, uh, dalawang strength lang ang kukunin natin. Dito sa number 3, 3 strength. MN sa FLB, MN sa lateral torsion of buckling, and MP. And then, may mili tayo sa pinakamalit sa kanilang tatlo. Okay? So, ganun lang siya, kasimple. Okay? Ayan, so, pinagsama-sama na namin lahat ng discussion para sa ano sa plastic moment sa pagkuha ng CB okay yung classification ng shape okay then yung elastic and inelastic uh, buckling saka yung compact and non-compact shape okay na kung saan kukunin natin yung bending strength nila so bakit namin pinagsama-sama para hindi na siya nakakalito kasi at the end of the day ito lang din yung pagbabasihin natin Okay, so magkakasama na silang lahat. Mapakompact man yan or non-compact, ito yung kusundin natin na uh, process and concept para masolve yung bending strength natin. 
Okay, kasi yung kay William T. Sege, isa-isa yun. Kukunin niyo yung plastic moment, kukunin niyo yung CB, kukunin niyo sa compact, and then kukunin niyo yung non-compact. So, dito, sa CBOX tutorial channel, pagkasama-samahin na natin sila. Pero, syempre, sunod-sunod pa rin yung mga problem na ipepresent namin sa inyo, which is uh, sa mga susunod pang araw or week namin maha-upload or magawa yung video tutorial. So, dito, I hope, na marami kayo natunan sa introduction ng ating uh, beams okay sa ating chapter 5 ng steel design so kita kits na lamang po tayo sa problem solving so thank you for watching bye bye